What up, Melvin7 here, the Premier League SBC for Harry Kane is out and I'm only doing this because of the packs really and because I'm doing every single SBC so yeah, I mean, you've seen enough of these league SBCs, I'm just going to submit all the teams that I've done, I've done every single team so I'm just going to literally submit them and while we do that, um, the foot birthday is going to be on the 31st of March, uh, finally we've got a confirmed date and they are actually doing it, they're not ignoring it. So I'm expecting SBCs, expecting um, some announcements, some free packs, all that good stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, this that I'm doing right now, uh, it cost me around 80 to 85k to get the players that I didn't already have. But I did have probably 60 to 70% of the players. Um, so because most of them are gold this is actually going to be relatively cheap but the only reason i would say it's worth doing not because the hurricane because that it's not worth it for the hurricane i mean you get 40k as well but it's the packs literally if you're a pack addict or you like packs i would recommend you do this just because these are always i mean the total cost is always less than the actual packs in total that you receive in terms of the pack values so um, if you were to go out and buy these in the store, they would cost a lot more. And of course you get the key and you get the 40k as well. So uh, if you like packs, do it. If you don't, then there's absolutely no point. I mean, the player of the month canes just went. And uh, overall, that was probably the same price as this. And it's four ratings higher. And of course, he's going to get a team of the season. Um, hopefully I'm not actually accidentally submitting any big players. I'm going to cry if I do, but... Uh, <laughs> Now, I've, I've checked these squads pretty thoroughly, so I doubt I'm uh, submitting anything too strenuous, but, um, well, too valuable. Uh, I don't think there's actually any silver packs. I think the worst pack that you get is a two-player pack, and that's for the Bournemouth team, which, ironically, is one of the more expensive ones because they have a lot of silvers. I think Burnley is another one that potentially could be. Basically, any uh, Premier League team that has uh, a lot of silvers, or at least... A couple of silvers that you do need to get so uh, yeah we're just submitting each and every one of these teams clearing our club of Premier League players but these packs have give us them back and of course Premier League players now have an enhanced value there's a lot of 25k packs I didn't see any 50k packs though I thought uh, maybe the Chelsea the Man United the Arsenal the Man City would give potentially that but I think that the most valuable pack is a 45k pack and that's for Arsenal but the the best pack in my opinion is the 35k pack and I think that's for Manchester United and then the rest of them are just a bunch of 25 I think there might be a couple of other prime players packs uh, I think Man City might be that Chelsea might be that I don't know um, but personally the prime packs are really really bad uh, for me anyway and I think this one's the last one uh, it is because my coins have just jumped up. So there we go. Completed the Premier League one. We get that cane and the 40,000 coins. I am never using that cane. I've got a better version of him. Untradeable already in the player of the month one. And uh, I'll check out that um, other league SBC soon enough, I presume. But anyway, next we're going to open the packs. And I'm going to try and order them correctly. Uh, yeah, there is absolutely no... Silver pack, so they're all gold, so we'll start off with this uh, two-player pack, nothing huge there, but any Premier League players will be good. Two Premier League players, you know what, I'll take that, I submitted both of them, I think. Uh, right, we'll open these 7.5k packs. I do want at least one walkout or decent in form, because, you know, this has cost me a lot. Um, of course, this only actually cost me about 80 to 85k, but I've used most of the Premier League players in my club that aren't of an extreme value. I think the most valuable player I traded in was probably 85 Harry Kane. And that was because I was lazy. I could probably got it uh, for cheaper. Right, we get a, a, a nice 82 rated Premier League player there. Uh, next pack I think is a 7.5 again. I'll open the worst packs first because, yeah, that's just what I do, I suppose. Uh, it doesn't really make a difference. Um, but I always like opening the, the ones where you've got a better chance last. Um, there was no real duplicates there, right? Anyway, uh, we've got a few 12.5k packs. I haven't really had anything good in these before, because obviously the odds of you getting something insane are, are pretty slim. Do get a few Premier League players there, though. Um, nothing real. I'm probably discarding things that might go for a little bit, so I apologise for that. But um, 
Yeah, I, I just want to hit something. Like, I've done so many of these, and I think I've had maybe one or two walkouts from every single league pack that we've done. Um, and I think I've had a couple of informs, but nothing really that goes for a lot. I think the last walkout we got was Jordi Alba, which is, of course, one of the worst ones, unfortunately. Uh, Value-wise and rating-wise. Um, just going to store everything and just discard. I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible because these videos tend to go on for a lot. Right. Now I think we're on to the good packs. Here we are. So we'll start with the 15k packs. Um, if I had to hazard a guess how much pack value you're probably getting for this, I'd probably say somewhere around 400k would be around the ballpark. And I don't think you're, play you're paying anywhere near that. So, uh, yeah, I definitely do think it's worth it uh, for the pack value anyway. Like, for what you get in the packs is just down to luck. And so far, we haven't really had anything. I think uh, the Sanya was the highest rated card that we've had so far. Um, just discard that. That silver might have went for something. Who knows? But uh, next one is a 15k pack again. Is it going to be anything good? <laughs> Please, man. Oh, we've got 10 packs left, so we're halfway through, and uh, statistically, the packs are better in this half, so I am expecting something, right? We've got four rare 25k packs there, we've got a mega pack, we've got four, um, yeah, wait, is that five? Yeah, it's four. Four 25k packs and this Prime Gold Players pack, which I'm going to open now because it's usually absolutely shit for me. Yeah, there you go, a really... Um, poor flare there, I don't think it's, nah, it's not even 83, so um, yeah, 81, so still 82 is our highest thus far, right, we'll open these 25s first, because they're generally not as good as the other 25s, still no big flare, no special card, no legend, no walkout, of course if it's a legend, it is a walkout, that Brazilian player might have went for something, because the SPCs, but they don't, I mean they've been out for so long that maybe not, Still no big flare, come on man. The, the last time I did this, I got um, the walkout Jordi Alba in my last pack. Of course there's loads of walkout informs, I think there's five walkout informs. So uh, hitting one of them would be great. Uh, no, uh, there's an 84. If I was to hit one though, it would probably be Godin, um, knowing my luck. But uh, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Uh, I can always hope, I suppose. Um, right, the last of the 25s, I think, and then um, we've got the other 25s, so uh, yeah, I think the value is probably around 400k in terms of uh, pack value, uh, nothing really there, we'll just discard that, and we'll move on to the rare 25s, come on, give me a walkout, a special card, something, <sighs> come on, we've had 184, nothing else, uh, we get a Premier League player and we also get Fakir who I traded in the other day for an SBC so I'll take that, um, no walkout, no, oh, for fuck's sake man, come on, it's bloody ridiculous, I've just about scraped my 85k back just because of discards, so I, I'm obviously in a huge negative unless I pack something in these last three packs, which is unlikely to be honest, but we, we'll see. Uh, we get a free pack, please don't be a contract pack, but it's glitched, so we have to do that, and do this, and then it's a gold pack, so, I mean, it's not a contract pack, it's an improvement on what it, um, usually is for me, anyway, what do we get, nothing, of course, <sighs> well, we get some coins, uh, 1k there, so we're pretty much sitting on 80k, which I think is pretty much what I put into the thing. No walkout, can we get a special card? Casmiro would be good, he goes for a lot. Um, trying to think of what other non-walkout informs go for a lot this week. Um, I don't think there's too many. But anyway, we've got 35k back, it's the last one, it's not a walkout. <sighs> Fucking hell, man. Like, ugh. Oh, I've just wasted my time doing this. There was absolutely no point in the end of me doing that. What are the promo packs? 25s, fuck off. Just... <sighs> I hate when you sit for fucking ages doing 20 teams and you get absolutely shafted. Let's see what packs we're going to get for this. Oh, they're shit packs. Oh. I'll probably get better in that one though when I eventually get around to doing it. But anyway, hopefully your luck was a lot better if you have done this. Uh, hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and yeah, peace.